Oculus isn't telling you this, but you're probably not using the full potential of your link cable. To fix that, I'll show you how you can squeeze every bit of performance out of it, so you can get a smoother and better looking experience. The first thing we can do is change your USB power settings. These control how much power is sent to your headset and we want unlimited power at all times. To change them, go to your control panel, click on power options, then change the plan settings next to the plan you're using and click on change advanced power settings. A new window called power options should pop up. In there, click on USB settings, USB selective suspense settings and disable it. Next up, we want to increase the refresh rate as well as the resolution of your quest. To do this, launch the Oculus app on your PC while your quest is connected. Go to the Devices tab, click on your quest and scroll down to Graphics Preferences. In there, you can change your refresh rate and your resolution. This is very dependent on your computer's performance, so you have to test out how much your PC can handle before your games get laggy. Now the last tool we can use to tweak our performance is the Oculus Debug tool, which every Everybody has installed, but Oculus doesn't tell you it's there. To find it, go to Program Files, Oculus Support and Oculus Diagnostics. Start the tool and look at the Oculus Link section. In there, there are two values we can tweak. The first setting we want to tweak is Distortion Curvature. This setting controls how much resolution is in the center of the image compared to the outer edges. The higher the value, the greater the difference is. I have it set to low, so the edges of the image have almost the same resolution as the center. The second setting we can tweak is the encode bitrate. Since your quest is connected via USB and not a proper display connection like DisplayPort or HDMI, the image has to be compressed to be sent. And the encode bitrate controls how much data is sent through per second. According to Oculus, 250 is decent and the theoretical maximum is 500. I set it to 350 because I can't really see any difference in visual clarity if I go higher. Again, please test these values for yourself to tweak it to your hardware. And if you want to know how to enable developer mode on your quest so you can get more apps and games that are not on the Oculus Store, check out this video I made. Bye!